Welcome everyone, Sam with NetWaveMarketing.com here with another video tool tip on helping you work smarter. Uh, today we're going to look at opening multiple web pages within a single Internet Explorer browser session. Um, we'll also do the same thing with uh, Firefox for those of you who have uh, made the switch to Firefox. Um, what this is good for is if you have uh, certain tasks during your day that require multiple web pages even drilled down into deep deep within the site not just going to google.com or yahoo.com but uh, going into specific pages uh, we can open them all up with uh, just a, a click or two um, so what I want to start by doing is uh, pull up a few pages what I like to do every day we'll just go through this as an example um, is catch up on current events um, everything from news to uh, politics uh, the market, um, a little bit of everything, and it kind of gives me some ideas for my business, uh, my marketing efforts. I get a lot of a lot of great ideas uh, from looking at what's going on today in the world. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open up a couple of sites that I use. I'm going to open up CNN, uh, Bloomberg, and open these up in a new session. So we get. Uh, the tab, the various tabs. Um, if you've not done a whole lot with tabs, they're they're, uh, they're a great way to, as I said, get lots of sessions up. But this would be the long way of doing it, uh, going through and opening up each session one by one. And of course, if I didn't already have them bookmarked, uh, I would have had to drill down into each individual page, uh, which is, can be very time consuming. Pull up a CNBC site. This one's just a snapshot of uh, various markets. And I'll go ahead and pull up um, another site I use is Newsweek. So the other thing you want to notice about this is I've actually drilled down into the sites. These are not just the home pages, but um, these are actually several layers into the site. So I've got all the stuff up here that uh, I want to check and probably want to come back tomorrow and check it. Um, so what I can do is go to this icon here, the star with the green plus in front of it. Click on that and I want to add tab group to favorites. Okay, What this is going to do basically is going to take these four tabs, create a group and add them to my favorites. So we'll call this um, news. Uh, you can file it under a different folder that you already have, or you can just leave it under the favorites, which is what I'm going to do. I click Add, and now I'm just going to close my internet browser, close all the tabs, and now I've closed Internet Explorer, um, and I'll go ahead and open up a new session. take me to my home page and now what I want to do is click on this other icon up here the star uh, now this is a favorites list similar to the favorites list that we used up here that you've always had this one when I go down to the folder for news you see the blue arrow out here to the side when I click on that blue arrow all of the tabs that I had saved under that group tab are now open and not again not just to the home pages uh, but exact pages that I drilled down into uh, previously. So this will allow me, um, you know, every day I can come in and check my news and my current events. Here you can see it's uh, brought up all the exact same sites, Bloomberg, CNBC, Newsweek, and of course CNN. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close this, and we want to look at uh, Internet, or excuse me, Firefox. We can do the exact same thing with Firefox. Another thing I like to do on a regular basis is uh, check some various uh, social networking sites as part of my uh, marketing efforts. Um, so here I've got um, a Squidoo lens up. I've got uh, MySpace. This is our uh, MySpace account for NetWave Solutions and NetWave Marketing. Uh, I've got a Technorati discussion group up and, uh, and a profile on Friendster. 
So what I'm going to do in Internet, or excuse me, in Firefox, is click on the bookmarks, and I'm going to bookmark all tabs, and the same is the same as adding the group, adding the tabs to a group. Now I'm going to give the folder a name, and we'll just call this social. Click OK. And that will add them all to um, a bookmark called social. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this browser session out. Yes, I'm going to close all the tabs. And I'll go ahead and open up a new Firefox session. And with Firefox open and on my home page, I'll now go and to the bookmarks. And we'll go all the way to the bottom where my new one should be. And there it is, social. Once I uh, highlight the social, I come over here and click open all tabs. And all tabs will automatically open right to the page where I had uh, saved them. So again, this is a great tip for saving some time. Uh, if you have specific tasks that you do every day uh, or regularly where you need to drill into certain pages of a site or multiple sites, um, you can remember them all at once and bring them all up at once. So I hope you've, uh, this has been helpful. I hope you've enjoyed it. And be sure and look for other video tips. This is Sam with NetWaveMarketing. This is Sam with NetWaveMarketing.com, and I'll talk to you soon.